All right, hey, Josh here, Attica Lumber Company, out here actually in Seneca County, Ohio. Um, I wanna make this video, I wanna tell you why we put our trusses four foot on center and our we lay our purlins flat and not on edge. And kind of give you an idea here why we do that versus setting trusses eight foot, nine foot, 10 foot, 11, 12 foot on center. Obviously we manufacture our trusses right at our uh, trust manufacturing plant right there on location at our home office, but um, at our sister company. But I wanna share with you why we do this, okay? So if we look at this, this is the early stages of a building here. And I'm out here, obviously shooting videos here, but this one right here, oh, what is the dimensions on this one? That's uh, a, oh boy, whatever it is. But I'm more interested in just sharing with you why we do our truss system, how we set this up. And again, this is really early. Guys got after it, actually, this is day, they've only been here one day and obviously they're making pretty good progress crew of three so they don't mess around but anyway so you can see what we do here we put these purlins you can see they're they're flat they're not on edge now if you're putting a um your trusses wider apart let's say eight nine ten and again you can design whatever you want to design and i know a lot of builders they want to notch it they think the strength and this is debatable everything obviously is debatable but uh they want to put the truss, they want to notch it right there on the post. Now, when you put it wide, then you have to put the purlins, you got to put them on edge. So it comes down to here's the rub or here's the thing on this is when you're doing 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, whatever you want to do as far as spacing, it can be done. And the reason why they do it, these national builders, national builders, okay, national builders do it. And the reason why they do it is there's less lumber involved in the building. And for a person up there walking on that, think about that. Okay, you're walking on a two by four purlin right up there. Okay, it's flat. Now when you're going wider, you gotta put it on edge because of the strength or else the board would snap and so forth. So it comes down to a safety issue too. Think about it from a liability standpoint. Uh, somebody falling off that roof when you have a two by four purlin that is um, on edge and not flat boy the the uh the uh, probability of fall is hey, it always can happen but it's definitely going to be greater and so forth so what's your homeowner's insurance i'm not here for a scare tactic i'm just here to lay out the facts and so forth but this is what we do you can see truss right here four foot on center msr lumber and msr lumber can start you know anywhere from 1050 1650 2100 2400 and again, the lower the MSR 1050, um, the lesser the strength and so forth. This is 1650 right here, MSR lumber designed on these trusses. And depending on the application design, it can go up to 2100. Depending on how strong you really need, how long you need to span. This building's not huge, so you don't need to span that much. But that's a little bit about MSR lumber. There you go. So keep following the journey with Attica Lumber. Um, hit the like button, smash the like button, and we'll keep out, keep putting up better content as we go. All right, Attica Lumber, since 1925.